What's up guys, my name is Shane Danger. Just in case you don't recognize me, it's still me. I got a haircut. I know it's really, really different. I went for an extreme one. But yeah, so today guys, I'm super excited to show you. I got asked to show a video of my favorite shells ever. Honestly, I've been slacking on collecting them lately. I've, I've taken like a couple like crazy massive ones that I found. If you've been watching my channel a lot, you know exactly which one I'm talking about. But besides that, I basically like haven't really been shell collecting. So I told Brittany, hey, bring your favorite shells and then we're going to show off our favorite shells ever. And of course she has a ton of them because she's always going shell collecting. And then she told me she also has this special chemical that she uses to clean the shells. So we're going to find out if we can take some of my shells that were pretty good already and make them look spectacular. So today we're going to be cleaning up some shells and then also showing you guys our favorite ones ever. Before we get down there looking at the shells, I need you guys to smash the like button and make sure you go down and hit subscribe as well. And then ring the bell. It's the best way to make sure you see all my videos as soon as they come up. I got some really awesome content here for you from Hawaii. I want to show you guys this beautiful ocean that surrounds us. So make sure you subscribe so you can see all the videos as soon as they come up. All right, let's get down there and check out the shells that Brittany's got. Brittany. I kind of don't want to show all the shells right away because we got to do it like countdown style so that it's a secret. I guess I'll show the dirty shells first. So can you move that big one over? So these are the shells that we're going to be working on right here. So this one has been sitting in the bed of my truck for months. Like I think I got it and then I was like, uh, it looks ugly. So I just tossed it back there. And then Brittany was like, no, that one's so cool and I could clean it. And then this one, like when I picked it up, it looked like this and I was like, oh, that's so beautiful. And then I flipped it over and I was like, eh, all right, well, it's still cool, but not epic. But then Brittany said that with her special chemicals, we'll be able to completely clean this, so. This one? Yeah. Wait, Can there's I gonna be colors. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This is what it's gonna look like. Can okay, put it over here, yeah. So that's why oh. I brought this one. I mean, I like these a lot, but this one is gonna look like that. That's gonna be like matching. Yeah, it might be a little more orange because sometimes they're orange. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite kind of spiral yeah. shell, the miter. Really cool. Brittany, tell me about the chemicals that you're gonna be using. I don't really, <laughs> what it is, I don't really know. That's why we say special chemicals. We don't know much about uh, it besides that I you just, don't want to breathe it. And you can't, if you were to put this in the bucket first and then put water in, it'll explode. So you have to put water in first and then- Oh my it. gosh. And then after- You can't say that. They're going to want to see the explosion. No, it's like, oh, like that's not- a, You're not after, allowed to. After we're done with this- to Yeah, like, you use the baking soda, soda yeah. to solve it, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So what I'm talking about by solvent, guys, is when you have the acid bath, it will react with the shells. It'll be really intense. It'll be fizzy. Yeah, it'll be fizzy. And so then to stop the fizzing, you put baking soda because then it's like the acid meets its... Uh, it neutral. That's what it does. Yeah, it neutralizes it. Hold on, hold on. There's one more thing that I'm confused about. Playing your trowel. <laughs> well, you just need something. You can't touch them when they're in the acid. Oh, uh, so it's so to touch... To okay, okay, okay. acid water and put it in the fresh water. Got it, okay. I mean, I think I figured you didn't have anything, so I just broke Yeah, I thought we were gonna have to like dig a hole with them. No. <laughs> no. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna pour some of that acid in there. I think there's a specific ratio, but we just uh, pour it in. Okay, so the chemicals that can explode when mixed, you just kind of wing it. Well, that's just water. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't pour it in last time. Haley did it. But... Okay. Oh, you can tell. So wait, if I put my finger in it, it'll like don't, burn my finger, yeah, right? Don't do that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you want this one will fizz a lot. Okay, Brittany, drop one of the shells into the acid bath. I don't think this one's gonna fizz. A little bit. Ooh. Wow, he's really cooking in there. Oh. <laughs> So we're just loading all of these up into the acid bath. We oh, don't, it why does it float? Cause that's one of those really light ones, you know? Really? That get really shiny. So that one's done already. Yeah, kind of took off some of the pattern. Oh, okay. Oh, so you don't want to leave it too long. It depends how bad they are. Okay. Oh my God, I can see it steaming out of the water. Yeah. That is scary. <laughs> okay, we have just a couple more. Um, I want to do this one. Yeah, I'm doing that one for my TikTok. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that looks so sick. You're like, oh, that is play. crazy. Yeah, that was sitting in the bed of my truck for, for like so a long. year. I saw it all the time and I'd be like, I'm gonna steal this. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't even know that one was purple. What the heck? That one was all white on top. Oh my gosh, this other one is so sick. You guys saw it on TikTok. So that's all for the acid bath, right? Yeah. 
How do we, oh, we put baking soda in that? Baking soda, I got baking soda. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, we're pulling the shells out and putting them on the towel right now. Oh my gosh, they look so pretty, Brittany. The colors, what? Dude, this one was not purple before. I'm so stoked that it's purple now. So don't forget, guys, there still is diluted acid mixed in that water. Oh my gosh, that one looks so sick, Brittany. Once we get them on the towel, we'll be able to wipe them off and then they'll be safe to touch. Yeah, but you don't even need a scrubbing brush or anything. No, because it's already like all. This one, yeah. this one is freaking perfect. Yeah. Oh, this one is so sick. I don't have any that look like this, even in small version. I've never seen one like this. It's, it's like this, but bigger. No, it's a different type. Okay, so now we're gonna put mineral oil on the shells and that gives them like a really beautiful glossy finish. And I think it'll also protect them, right, Brittany? Okay. <laughs> so what do you do? Just a little on the hand. Okay guys, so we just finished the chemical bath. I think it came out really, really good. Brittany, that was awesome. Thank you for showing me that. I'm gonna set up like a little light studio thing and then take some really beautiful photos of all of them or like little video scenes so that you can see them better than me just showing them to you really quick out here, so. So that was super cool seeing all of them and the really beautiful lighting. So now I'm gonna show you guys our top favorite shells that we've ever found. And keep in mind guys, we find these in the ocean. We're out there every single day. So these are our, our best ever finds and we're out there all the time. So just keep in mind how rare these are. We don't find them like this every day, you know? These are our very, very special shells and we're gonna show them to you right now. Brittany, pick your first one that you wanna show off. No, you show, you show any, no, don't pick the best one first, Brittany, that's the last one. Yeah. <laughs> These guys. Those are so cool. They're I was huge. so stoked when I found them. Oh my gosh. Did you find them at the same day? Yeah. Whoa, nice. I found these and this cone on the same day. Oh yeah, show that, show that. It's like not the best cone. Yeah. But the pattern on this side is cool. Yeah. And like to find a cone this big is rare. It yeah, it's look very good big. on this side, but <laughs> this side's not bad. Yeah. It's well, it's, it's cool at least just for the size. It's like a yeah. big thing. Okay, I can't show you guys my best find ever. So I have a couple that are like, I'm gonna, uh, just gonna have to flip the camera. <laughs> All by looking, but this thing is so lightweight and I really like that. Yeah, here's another one. This is one of the ones that we cleaned today. So these are so light that when you put them in water, if they have air in them, they'll float. You have to be careful to not crack them because if I like squeeze on this, I think I could break it. But, oh, ah! <laughs> but then just to show you guys how light they are, you, you might be able to understand like this. So listen to it when I drop it. Like you can really tell. This is the first cowrie you ever Do you want to show found. that one next? Wait, that's the first cowrie you ever found? Uh -huh. Turn it over, got, turn it over. Before I got into shelling and diving into That stuff, one is so beautiful. This is, I was, the first one I, this is my first shell. When you pulled found. up with your shells, I was eyeing that one majorly. That one is so pretty. That's insane. Yeah. Okay, tell me about another one, Brittany. You can pick one of mine or one of yours, but not the big one. These ones are cool. I forget what they're called. My roommate has yeah, I like the purple inside. Yeah, the so there's a little crab. hermit crab in there and Brittany, you can't get them out. I could pull them out with tweezers if you want. <laughs> it's like shaking around in there. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got home and I was like, oh my God, there's a friend in this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna show this one. This is one of my favorites. It's just so interesting. I've never like, seen any like that. Oh, you know what? I think I remember when I found this. It was up north and I had just finished cutting the line off of a reef. So I used to not dive with a knife, but then when I started uh, spear, fi I mean fish hugging, I started having a fish cut it, a fish hugging device with me that I was able to cut the line with. So I'm just joking around. I was using uh, a knife to cut line. So I cut a line and then I found this right after and I was like, rewarded, instant karma, thank you ocean. <laughs> so the ocean tends to reward you if you treat it well. So that's why I'm always out there doing my best for the ocean. And then luckily the ocean blesses me back. This one is so sick. Wait, that's like almost as big as your other cone. Yeah. But the so colors on it are so good. So much better yeah. than like these kind of shells. I think this is the kind of key. These cone snails are like super dangerous stinger. They like kill you super fast. Seven minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> but they, you can see their stingers come out. They're like bright yellow. Oh, really? Wow, I've never seen that. I've never seen it either, but I just know that one. That's crazy. But this one is so sick. This one, there's another one of Britney's that totally caught my eye. That is such a gorgeous pattern on top. And this is all glossy, yeah, smooth. Kind of and yeah, just, unbelievable texture there and 
it looks like it had nothing in it so that's super cool always lucky to get a dead shell that's in this pristine condition because usually when you find them like this they're still alive so that was super cool to find this one congratulations Brittany. i realized this video is getting kind of long so here's the rest of what Brittany bought brought today i think that one's mine i think these are so cool this is like a cowrie that has like a bumpy back on it and it's that's all right. striated yeah it's so cool and then he's got some sand in there what a cutie it's so tiny it's like smaller than my thumb oops it's like smaller than my thumbnail i can barely hold it it's so small and it's so glassy and then it has these beautiful dots and then and then look at this front side it's like just the, this little tiny so cute and small and the little purple edges so awesome Brittany. i will allow you to introduce the king mega shell hold on first of all first guys i want to show you the video of how i found this insane shell it was absolutely incredible but then if no hold the shell up show dun, dun. Oh! gotta zoom in on it hold it up yeah <laughs> All right, so roll the clip of me finding that shell. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, that's huge. Sand. No. And this is the <laughs> so yeah that's like a small version and then that's what it freaking grows to that is so crazy and i found a couple of these but this shell is like what the heck dude i could not believe that i found that with nothing in it that was like insane too. yeah it's a big freaking shell. what were you thinking when you watched me dive down and pick up that shell it literally looked like a speck it was probably like 50 feet there. I think it was deeper. I think it was 60. It was literally like, and you know, the ocean makes everything blue. So it yeah. just looked like a white rock or something. Like, yeah. I would never have thought that was a shell. And, and I think, I think what happened was, so there's whale sounds and I dove down just a little, like I went to like 20 just to hear the sounds. Cause I was like, oh, that's so cool. So I dove down deeper to hear the sounds. That was when I spotted it and I was like, oh my God. And then didn't I tell you that I found something? So we'll see what's in the clip, whether or not I said that I, I found it. So I, I knew that something was there and it was just barely put, oh no, it was pretty much out of the sand. No, it was all the way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was fully out of the sand and I dove down and just like, awestruck like could not believe that i found this absolutely breathtaking shell like lifetime find probably yeah. okay so and then Brittany, what did we use this shell for he made me put peroxide in it and clean out his ear <laughs> so like pouring peroxide in his ear he put peroxide in i was like Brittany, the only way to get it into my ears with this giant shell because guys i got an ear infection that day the i think day from diving so much so the day that i found the shell i got an ear infection um and then and we also swam with whales that day so that was just like a 10 out of 10 day oh my yeah. gosh dude what an epic ocean day so since then i i felt like i got like the ocean gave me too much good karma and so i've just been paying it back since then always cleaning the reef always picking up all the trash that i find cutting the lines uh and that's just what we do so yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed watching us go through our shell collection and look at this giant shell that i have as well as all these amazing shells that Brittany brought that Brittany, thank you so much for bringing your shell collection today to show off for the video and uh make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos of us hanging out in the ocean playing having fun and i hope to see you guys next time bye